Hi guys, this is AS Chemistry, Combustion of Hydrocarbons, question 12. Methyl mercaptan, CH3SH, has a foul smell and is often used to impart a smell to natural gas. What will be formed when CH3SH is burnt in an excess of air? So CH3SH, when burnt in an excess of air, it would react with oxygen, producing one mole of CO2 because there is one carbon atom in methyl mercaptan, one mole of SO2 because there is one sulfur atom in methyl mercaptan and two moles of H2O because there are four atoms of hydrogen in methyl mercaptan. So this balances out to give us three moles of oxygen gas required for complete combustion. So the question asks what will be formed when CH3SH is burnt in an excess of air? Carbon monoxide is produced in a limited supply of air. So carbon dioxide is correct, water is correct, and SO2 is correct. H2S and SO3 are the incorrect products of the combustion of sulfur in excess of oxygen. This makes option C the correct option for this question. Question 13. Which substance does not produce a poisonous gas when burnt in a lim limited supply or limited amount of air? So if we have limited amount of air, hydrogen would react with oxygen producing H2O. Methane will react with oxygen producing either soot or carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide and water. With propane, the same products as methane will be obtained, carbon carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and water. And with sulfur, it would produce SO2. So the question asks, which substance does not produce a poisonous gas? So out of these, CO is a poisonous gas, SO2 is a poisonous gas. So options B, C, and D, each produces one of the gases which is poisonous. So the only option with no poisonous gas formed is option A, making A the correct option for this question. Question 14. Which volume of oxygen measured at room temperature and pressure is needed for combustion of 0 0.1 moles of propane 1 all? So propane 1 all has a molecular formula of C3H8O. So in order to find out the moles of oxygen required, we need to write the combustion equation. That would be C3H8O would react with four and a half moles of O2, producing three moles of CO2 and four moles of H2O. So the molar ratio here is one is to four and a half. So moles of C3H8O is 0 0.1 so the moles of oxygen would be 4.5 into 0 0.1 which would be 0 0.45 moles so the next thing that we need to calculate is the volume so one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 24 dm cube so we've got 0 0.45 moles of oxygen gas. So when we multiply 0 0.45 into 24 dm cube, this gives us a value of 10.8 dm cube of oxygen gas, making option A the correct option for this question. Question 15. Which volume of oxygen at room temperature and pressure is needed for the complete combustion of 0 0.1 moles of ethanol? So the formula of ethanol is C2H6O and the combustion equation for ethanol would be C2H6O plus 3O2 giving us 2CO2 and 3H2O. So the molar ratio of ethanol to oxygen is 1 is to 3. So if the moles of ethanol given to us is 0 0.1, then 
then the moles of oxygen would be 3 into 0 0.1 which would give us 0 0.3 moles now we need to calculate the volume of oxygen so the volume of one mole of any gas at rtp is 24 dm cube so for oxygen it would be 0 0.3 moles into 24 giving us a value of 7.2 decimeter cube making option a the correct option for this question question 16 in an experiment 12 dm cube of oxygen measured under room conditions is used to burn completely 0 0.1 moles of propane one all what is the final volume of gas measured under room conditions so here we have c 3H8O undergoing complete combustion, reacting with four and a half moles of oxygen, producing three moles of CO2 and four moles of H2O. So, uh, molar ratio of propane one all to oxygen is one is to four point five. Since the moles of C3H8O is 0 0.1 as given in the question moles of oxygen would be 4.5 into 0 0.1 which will give us a value of 0 0.45 moles so now we have to calculate the volume of oxygen so that would be 0 0.45 into 24 which would give us a value of 10 0.8 dm cube so this is the volume of oxygen that had been used up so the remaining amount of oxygen would be 12 minus 10.8 which will give us 1.2 dm cube of oxygen that was remaining this much oxygen was in excess now they've asked us what is the final volume of gas measured under room conditions. So if we have 1.2 dm cube of oxygen remaining, we also have volume of carbon dioxide produced. So the volume of carbon dioxide produced will also have to be calculated. So this would be, according to the molar ratio, 3 moles of CO2 are produced. So since the moles of C3H8O are 0 0.1 moles of carbon dioxide would be 0 0.1 into 3 which would give us 0 0.3 moles of carbon dioxide and the volume of carbon dioxide would be 24 into 0 0.3 which would give us a volume of 7.2 dm cube and since it is at room conditions water would remain a liquid. So now we end up with 7.2 dm cube of carbon dioxide being produced and 1.2 dm cube of oxygen remaining. So the final answer would be 7.2 dm cube of carbon dioxide plus 1.2 dm cube of oxygen, which gives us a total of 8.4 dm cube of gas present under room conditions, making option B. The correct option for this question. Question 17. Which equation correctly represents the balance equation for the complete combustion of a hydrocarbon with the formula CXHY? So if it is complete combustion, then the formula is CXHY plus x plus y upon 4 o2 so x plus y upon 4 are present in options b c and d so option a gets eliminated this gives us x moles of co2 present which is there in all the three remaining options and it gives us y upon 2 moles of h2o so y upon 2 is not present in b it is not present in c and it is present in D. So option D has the equation written completely as it occurs. 
making option D the correct option for this question. Question 18. One gram of carbon is combusted in a limited supply of pure oxygen. 0 0.5 grams of the carbon combust to form CO2 and 0 0.5 grams of carbon combust to form CO. The resultant mixture of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide is passed through excess NOH and the remaining gas is then dried and collected. What is the volume of the remaining gas? All gas volumes measured at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atmospheric pressure. Okay, so we have 1 gram of carbon being combusted. So the AR of carbon given is 12. So the moles of carbon combusted are 1 upon 12, which gives us 0 0.0833 moles of carbon. So now 0 0.833 moles of carbon, half of which. So we divide 0 0.0833 by 2 giving us a value of 0 0.04167 moles so these are the moles of carbon dioxide and the moles of carbon monoxide so the question says that this gaseous mixture is passed through NOH now CO2 is an acidic gas which would react with NOH CO is a neutral gas which would remain so 0 0.0416 moles are reacted with NOH and 0 0.0416 moles remain. So they are asking us what is the volume of the remaining gas. So these are the moles of the remaining gas that we have. So in order to calculate the volume, it would be moles 0 0.04167 into volume at RTP, which is 24. This gives us a volume of 1 dmq for carbon monoxide making option A the correct option for this question. Question 19. Which volume of oxygen at room temperature and pressure is needed for the complete combustion of one mole of methyl propane one all? So the molecular formula of methyl propane one all is C4 H10O and when this is completely combusted it reacts with 6 moles of oxygen producing 4 moles of CO2 and 5 moles of H2O and since we have 1 mole of oxygen or rather 1 mole of methyl propane manol it reacts with 6 moles of oxygen and they have asked us what volume of oxygen at room temperature and pressure is needed so 1 mole of any gas at RTP occupies a volume of 24 dm cube. So the volume of oxygen would be 6 into 24, which gives us 144 dm cube of oxygen being required for this reaction to go to completion, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 20. Which equation correctly describes complete combustion of an alkene CNH2N? So, according to the general formula, CNH2N would react with N plus 2N upon 4 O2 to produce N moles of CO2 and 2N upon 2 moles of H2O. Now, let's solve these. So, if you've got n plus 2 upon 4, so 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4. So this becomes n plus half n, which is equal to 1 and a half n, which can also be written as 3 upon 2 n. And for 2 n upon 2, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. We end up with n moles of H2O. So option A has 2 n moles of H2O. This gets eliminated. Option D has 2 n moles of H2O. This gets eliminated. And now let's look at the moles of oxygen. Option A has 3 upon 2 n moles of O2, which is correct. And option B has 3 upon 2 moles of NO2, which is correct. Option C and D does not have these many moles of 
oxygen so they become incorrect so the only one with the correct values of moles of oxygen and of water is option b therefore option b is the correct option for this question question 21 two hydrocarbons have the formula c w h x and c y h z w x y and z represent different whole numbers which row is correct when comparing the two hydrocarbons and they've told us or shown us that w upon x is the same as y upon z so if the ratio of carbon upon hydrogen is the same that means they belong to the same functional group so this identifies the compounds as belonging to the same functional group so what happens uh, to compounds in the same functional group they've got the same empirical formula so this eliminates options a and b their molecular formula has to be different because they are different compounds and since their molecular formula is different their relative molecular mass has to be different, eliminating option D and making option C the correct option for this question.